Hello and welcome back to another Scratch Fundamentals video tutorial. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you all enjoy today's activity. Please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Today we're going to learn about broadcast. Broadcasts are super powerful and they can really help you take the program to the next level. Let's uh, get started with the, with the topic. If you do have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below and I'll make sure to get to you to back to you. Let, let's, uh, let's look into it. So broadcast is under the events uh, section of Scratch and broadcast consider consists of these here. Sorry, not that one. This guy's here. These are three main things in broadcast. So for those of you who are not familiar, a broadcast uh, message uh, is sent to Scratch and it activates a script which match with a matching hat. So they're either sent by broadcast and then a message or broadcast and then wait. Those are the two ways that uh, they're sent. And this is the receiving block for the broadcast right here. So broadcast allows scripts to continue into their own onto other sprites. And some values are different to, uh, to for sprites. They can also be used to branch a single sending script into many receiving scripts or to close any sending script into a single receiving script. script. Broadcast can, can be useful in games and animation and they trigger specific scripts. They are similar to events with the script which the script triggers when certain actions like mouses move or key press are performed. All broadcast blocks are part of the uh, event block types as I mentioned and I've covered the event blocks before in another video before in another tutorial so feel free to go check that one out so let's dive into the uh, actual blocks here on our screen so think of a uh, broadcast as a function call computers typically run in a specific order computers uh, will literally do what you tell them to do in order that in or in the order you give them the instructions because um so the broadcast is our functions in scratch and that's how they do functions here in scratch so the functions allow programs to do all kinds of, of uh, neat things they allow you to activate different um actions for sprites or backgrounds things like that so the difference between the two broadcasts this one here it executes right away it has no further action this block here the uh, broadcast and wait broadcasts the specific message and, and blocks its script onto all scripts under the when I receive message block have finished so basically when you are use this block a broadcast will be made but nothing else can happen until the receive block uh, which will cover next uh, finishes. This is our receive block. This block will stay inactive until it receives a specific broadcast. Once it has received the script, the script goes into an into action and ends ends once it has finished. But it cannot. It can start more than once. Okay, so let's uh, dig a little deeper. Um, Let's uh, see how we can use them. I do have a uh, program I wrote a while back called Magic Tennis that we, I can explain to you on how we use them there or use at least one of them. So here, what this program does, it's a computer versus user-based tennis kind of game where the goal of the game is for the user to beat the computer and the way you do it is you you use your up and down arrow to hit the star here 
And when you when a player hits a star, he it he gets a point. If the computer hits a star, then the computer gets a point. The final person to win will be the one who has five uh, points. So in this case, we used a broadcast here. So uh, here, if you guys look in it, I did go into detail on the actual video for the for the game. But here, if you look at it, it would go into here and uh, call this change effect. And the change effect, what it does, it just calls these here and it checks what effect we're doing. And the effect's shown up here. Um, what effect we're working with and it'll change the effect depending on what it's set to. And then we have two because we're looking for the user one and the computer one. We want the, uh, the effect to change for the star or the background or, this, or uh, color stuff depending on who, whoever hits it. Whenever it's hit by the user or the computer, we want it to change effects. So let's go back into this uh, here. And the way you create your own is you click on it and then you create your own little message. So this is how you create your own function. If you click on here, now you have multiple. This is a default one, but by clicking here, you can create your own. So let's see. Let's create a small little game, little thing here. When and for those of you who are not familiar with all of these blocks, I do have a place where a video where I cover them. We're gonna do forever when broadcast received. Let's do this. I want to set custom next custom. Okay, so when that when forever when we receive that, I want to do this. Let's see what that does. So <laughs> if you guys look at it here at our sprite, it looks like our sprite is uh running in a very fast mode and the reason that is and the way it works is uh, when I click on the flag here it's saying forever as long as I call receive this uh, broadcast receive which is over here I want the uh, the sprite to change its look and for those who don't know uh, or haven't been introduced into it which I do talk about in an in other videos our sprites have multiple uh, looks and that's how we make them look like they're running or walking or flying or a lot of different changes so this is what makes it look like it's running because it's it's toggling between the two that's what my uh, broadcast is doing it toggles between the two and that's how it makes it look like it's running like crazy another thing i could do to it is uh let's change color effect this will change the color of our sprite there you go if it wasn't crazy enough here's more <laughs> so this is a really really quick way of uh of using uh the broadcast receive the broadcast and the receive block just wanted to show you guys quickly how that looks. There's a lot of more different things you can do with it, more uh, elaborate things. But I was trying to keep this video uh, to the uh, very simple so that you guys can kind of dive into it and get your feet wet, get out there and do it by yourself. Go ahead and try it. Uh, I would love to uh, see you guys try it out there. Uh, do leave me comments and let me know if you guys have questions. Um, we're here to help you guys and uh, hope this helps out 
students and people out there who are trying to learn a little more about programming. This is a graphical way of learning how to program. When I was uh, when I was doing engineering, uh, we had no graphical way, so <laughs> it was doing it the hard way. But for everyone out there, this is a much more easier way to learn how to program. Understand the concepts of programming, which are fundamental before you start learning a language. That is key. We need to uh, understand those concepts because if you don't understand the concepts, the language is gonna just—it's just gonna be confusing and it won't be fun. But uh, thanks for watching. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, learning about broadcast. Um, let me know in your comments below if you guys uh, have any questions. And then again, uh, thanks again. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to depth in how to use uh, comments in our code. Uh, I do have a quick little sneak peek here where I had some comments already made. I was playing around with it. But uh, cover that more in detail in our uh, next tutorial. You guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.